Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a uh, mini review of a mini pen. Fisher Space Pen. I am not a fountain pen snob in the way that I will not use other pens. I will. And uh, I particularly like pens that have some sort of uh, cool factor and this certainly, certainly has cool factor. This is its box. Just love that. Uh, and here is the pen. It is the Black Bullet Pen, Matte Black Bullet Pen, uh, and I think it is a smashing looking little pen. Um, why the Fisher Space Pen? Well, this pen was developed um, basically to be able to write in space. Uh, it was tested by NASA for like 18 months uh, and then has been used by astronauts in space. That's kind of cool. It was designed to be written at any angle, at any, uh, like, upside down, in anti-gravity, in temperatures ra uh, ranging uh, from uh, minus 34 degrees uh, to, to, like, plus 121 degrees. So, you know, wide temperature range there. Uh, and it is made of durable material. It is compact. It is portable. And it you know, it opens up to be a pretty reasonable size. It's just awesome. Like, how cool is that? So how does the pen, you know, work? Well, as I said, this is designed to be, you know, designed to be written within space. So it comes, it has a cartridge, and it's the cartridge that is probably one of the most interesting parts. This is the cartridge. Black medium refills, Fisher Space Pen, Older city, USA. So, why is it interesting? Well, it's pressurized. So, there's pressure in the cartridge, air pressure, that pushes ink down towards the tip, the ballpoint there. So, when it's upside down, when it's in anti gravity, all of that sort of thing, as long as that seal isn't broken into the cartridge, the pressure is going to continue uh, making this pen right. So, that's kind of cool. Um, it has a shelf life, the cartridge, of expected to be around 100 years. It's an oil-based ink uh, and expected to be able to write for 15,000 feet. So that's quite a lot of writing. Um, and it's just a really cool little pen. This pen retails uh, in Australia from anywhere from $40 to $65. Uh, and in the US, without the clip, for around $23. And you can add a clip for around $3. That pricing is from Jet Pens. The, let's talk about the size of the pen and then we'll do a writing sample and some pros and cons. So, size comparisons. I have three pens to compare it to here. First is another, you know, well-known ballpoint pen. It is the Uniball Jetstream. And then just for size comparison, because, you know, a lot of you are fountain pen users, here is a Lamy Safari. And uh, a small pocket pen from, uh, you know, is the uh, Kaveco Sport uh, fountain pen, pocket pen. So you can see it's smaller than the Sport. Uh, this is the Milligram special um, collaboration with Kaveco uh, in Sage, which is quite lovely. Um, I'm gonna move that one out of the way now, so that gave you an idea. And then if we put this pen to its writing length, which is capped, um, along with the Kaveco here, doing the same, we see that it doesn't Fair too badly. It's still on the small side and it's definitely on the narrow side, but I think it comes to a really usable size. So what are the dimensions for the Fisher Space Bullet Pen? Well, and as I should say, this is the matte black version. Um, the size is small, <laughs> capped, it is 9.6 centimeters. Uncapped, it is nine centimeters. And posted, it comes into 13.7, which is a usable size in the hand, uh, even if you hold it fairly far up the barrel there. Uh, the pen weighs 19 grams. 15 of that is in the body and four of that is in the cap, but you will use it posted probably mostly. Uh, and the balance is pretty good. It's a nice, there's, because I think a lot of the weight is in the cartridge of the pen, as opposed to the lightweight uh, you know, body, the weight is in the front part of your hand, which is excellent. The grip is narrow at eight millimeters in the middle there. And the, the widest point of the entire pen is only nine millimeters. So slim, small, 
perfectly pocketable, great pen for like a handbag or to tuck down the side of a notebook. If you're one of these EDC guys with the pocket organizer, a lot of them are designed with a pen like this in mind. Just a very, very cool pen. Let's see it writing. So I'm gonna try it on a couple of things. Firstly, here is the um, Clairefontaine notepad, which I would use for fountain pens. So nice fountain pen friendly, smooth paper. Um, and let's see it writing. A bit of a hard start there, that's fun. Fisher space pen. It's a relatively smooth refill. Um, it's not my favorite, I will say that, uh, but my favorites don't have a lot of the features of this in terms of things like the um, writing underwater or, uh, you know, writing in zero gravity, which, you know, I probably will never have to do, <laughs> um, but it's smooth. It, it writes and it writes consistently, like a really hard start at the beginning there, but for the rest of it, nice sort of smooth, you know, relatively dark line. Uh, nice. I want to show it just on a, uh, two other sorts of paper that I'm going to be using in another experiment in just a second. That's a simple post-it note and then some stone paper. So nice, and stone paper, this is from Cast. The cast paper is an interesting one to write on. It's a grippy paper, but the thing is, this is water resistant paper, and I'm actually gonna write underwater with both of these with the, the Fisher Space Pen here, because that's one of the things it claims it can do. I actually shared this on my Instagram uh, the day I got the pen uh, as well. What I have here is just a little container of some water. I'm going to put both pieces of paper under the water there. So you can see they are completely submerged. The post-it note is actually like, not starting to disintegrate, but it's already um, compromised. So let's do some writing. So I'm putting the ball of the pen under the water surface here to write on this paper. And while the paper you can feel is not faring particularly well, the pen is writing beautifully smoothly on it. So if for any reason you need to write underwater, you can see here, it does that quite well. I'll just take these out and we have a little quick look at them. So as I said, the paper is really not faring very well at all, but it may be a broader line, it may be a little more spread, but that could also be the paper. Let's look at it on this. You know, it's, not a, it's probably not as dark, but it has written very cleanly, very clearly, and this paper has performed beautifully. Once again, tear resistant, all that sort of stuff. Um, so very, very interesting. Underwater test complete. The next one is a little bit harder for me to film. This is me filming uh, the anti-gravity <laughs> nature of the pen. Um, so I'm gonna go back to using a sticky note, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on the underside of a table and film up as I write. I've gone to handheld here. I'm here in my lounge room. Uh, writing underneath, oh, sorry about that, writing underneath my, one of my desks. Very uncomfortably, <laughs> but you can see it writes smooth and it would write consistently and keep going and going and going. So there you had it, a couple of like simple little examples of what this pen can do, writing upside down, writing underwater. Um, it's a really cool little pen. It is just like an anodized metal finish, this matte black, but it looks nice. Um, it's stealthy, minimal branding. Um, it's attractive, it's small, it's portable, it's handy. I think the beauty of this pen is both in novelty, you know, the fact that like NASA uses them and all of that sort of stuff, uh, but also the reliability. If you are a back, you know, going hiking or something like that, this is the sort of pen you'd want to be carrying with you. Firstly, it's lightweight. It takes up very little area in your uh, kit, but it's also reliable. It has great shelf life, all of that sort of stuff. So, and we'll, as I said, we'll write underwater, we'll write on lots of different kinds of paper and in lots of different situations. The ink is not 100% permanent. There will be a little bit of um, spread on it and, you know, sort of like, but it is 
reliable. As I said, it's not my favorite refill. The feeling of it on the page is not my favorite. Um, it's a little tacky uh, in the fact that it's like an oil-based uh, ink, but I think it does a good job, and for its other purposes, it serves that need uh, if that is what you require. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.